Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Revell's A6E Navy Attack Bomber. This is also known as the Intruder. This particular kit was first produced back in 1988 and the reason why I bought this particular kit was because I had a chance to see the real airplane and I was pretty impressed by its uh, performance. So before we start building this kit, I want to take you to see the real airplane and you can see, you can hear my enthusiasm about this particular airplane and then right after that we're going to start building this kit. So you can tell me more about this A6 uh, plane? Yeah, this particular airplane was built in 1968 in Bethpage, New York. Okay. It saw combat in Vietnam in 1971-72 during Operation Linebacker 2 off the USS Constellation. Okay. It was also in Desert Storm in 1991. In, in Desert Storm too? Desert Storm. My gosh. Off the USS Ranger. My gosh. So she saw, uh, she destroyed in, over in Iraq 56 tanks and trucks one OSA attack boat and one amphibious assault ship. My gosh. So 58 total kills. I wouldn't, I couldn't imagine, you know, for me, I, I thought this would be retired maybe four or five years later, but went all the way down to, to golf, the, the Gulf way. War. That's yep. amazing. All the A6s retired in 1997. Oh, wow. And they were replaced by the Super Hornet. Uh -huh. My gosh. So she has a lot of combat history. Yeah, this one is, is a very, a very, uh, historical airplane. Yes, this is the first airplane to have all-weather strike capability. Uh -huh. So how we do that is through that little TV set in front of you. It's called a VDI. VDI. It gives you a computer-generated world. Uh -huh. So you'll see mountains, valleys uh -huh. on the screen. So the pilot flies right there. He doesn't have to look outside. Well, and, the, oh, excuse and, me. and then on this side of the aircraft is the Bombardier Navigator. Okay. So I have a FLIR, a forward-looking infrared, uh -huh. and then I have the multi-mode radar. And I use this stick between my legs called the SLU stick to control my TV camera and the laser. Uh -huh. Okay, so if you see footage from TV, you'll see a building or a tank and the bomb flies down and hits it and blows it up. Uh -huh. Okay, that's what you're seeing from this screen. From this screen right here. Right here. Oh, my gosh. Right. Right. So as long as I keep that laser beam pointed at that target, my bomb's going to follow that beam all the way down and hit it. Okay. That's impressive. Yes. Yeah. It really is. So we carry our, our maximum payload is 18,000 pounds worth uh -huh. of bombs, uh -huh. uh, and we carry everything in the Navy's inventory as far as munitions go, up to and including, if we have to, nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons? Yes. This is our nuclear weapons panel. Oh my gosh. Is there, is there anything else you could point out to me? Uh, well, your basic uh, flight instrumentations here, all your flight instruments uh -huh. on that side are engine instruments, uh -huh. uh, and then your throttles are by your left thigh. You got two big throttles right there, okay. and your uh, fuel controls are just in front of that fuel panel, fuel transfer. Okay. You got your landing gear lever, your parking brake right there. Okay. Over here, you've got your autopilot, you've got radios, you've got uh, attack and an IFF for friend or foe identification, air conditioning controls. This is the master weapons panel. Every all the weapons are controlled here, and then uh, over on this side over here, just controls for the bombardier navigator. My gosh, I'm just so impressed with this particular aircraft. I think out of all the fighter aircraft I've been onto, I think this is the best. And not because it's a, um, it's not all the glamour is all about being a fighter pilot. But really, the workhorse is the one that gets the job done, yes. really. That's why they have the saying, fighter pilots make movies, yeah. attack pilots make history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very yeah, much. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Let's go take a look inside this box. 
we have the fuselage and the wings clear plastic parts bombs decal and the instruction sheet I just finished painting and dry brushing the cockpit. It looks good. I filled the seams with putty and sanded it smooth. By sanding the putty smooth, I was also uh, sanded away the panel lines. I need to re scribe them back. What I have in my hand is a pin vise, and right on the tip of it is an ordinary sewing needle. And right over here is an old photo edge fret from an old kit. And I'm going to use that photo edge fret as a straight edge to re scribe my panel lines. I'm going to put the photo edge fret onto uh, an area where I want to have the panel line, then I carefully rescribe the panel line where I want it. I've already done one right over here and another one right over here. Okay, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this model kit so far. Take a look. This is the complete model kit before painting, and it's a good model kit. Now, given this age that it was um, first built, first manufactured back in 1988, it's a good model kit with good details for its time. It has good details on the wings and on the cockpit. I like the bomb racks and the bombs that the kit offers you is pretty impressive. They give you a lot of bombs. Now what you see right here that's green is putty. So there is a lot of seams that you're going to have to fill uh, for this model kit but I don't think that the beginner is going to have a hard time doing it. So I recommend this model kit for both the beginner through the advanced modeler. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint the model. I already uh, painted my model with a coat of primer 
And now I'm going to use my airbrush and pre-shape my model by painting all the panel lines with a black line. to paint the main color. I'm going to protect my entire model with the coat of future floor wax. I'm going to give the model a wash. I'm going to draw some lines on the panel lines on this wing. What you see right here is a black artist pen and I'm going to use it to simply draw a line on the raised panel lines of this model. And then I'm going to take a Q-tip, moisten with mineral spirits, and feather it so there won't be much of a hard line. All right, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from start to finish. Take a look. This is a completed model kit after painting, and I did a good job. The weathering has really brought out the details on the entire model airplane, and it looks very nice. I like the bombs and the decals really help make this plane come to life. I really have no complaints about this um, model kit and I like it. That completes this model kit. What you're about to see next is a video slideshow of the entire model pod project. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encouraged you to build a model kit of your own. Uh, there's a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching and always please have a great day.